Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I did a poll on Instagram and uh, asked you guys what you wanted to see on my next YouTube video. And a lot of you guys replied with the same question and that is how did you manage to find your art style and how did you uh, find the way that you draw today? So I think this is something good to cover because I know a lot of you guys are also looking for your own styles and you might not be too sure where to start. So uh, today I'm gonna try to explain to you guys how I found my style and how I'm still building on top of that style. So let's get right into it. So the first and most important thing that you might have heard from other people already is that you need to look at the works of other artists. You need to find people who inspire you and really study the way they draw. And this is, I cannot stress this enough because I've had personal experience with this. So um, back before I started to develop this really like animated looking style, I was actually drawing very realistic portraits, just being really, really grounded in reality. And I wasn't experimenting with my style, but as soon as I started started looking at the works of other artists and how they do things, I was able to get a much better understanding of where and when I should be able to exaggerate and uh, push things and pull things in order to communicate the message that I want to communicate and break free from that realistic style. So. The first artist I want to show you guys is Aaron Blaze. Now the cool thing about Aaron is he used to work at Disney so he worked on a lot of the uh, films that might have been a part of your childhood and my childhood like Lion King, Brother Bear and uh, way more that I can't even name but he is really really good at simplifying his characters into big basic shapes and his characters are able to communicate a ton of information with their eyes and their you know just their the emotion on their face i think it's really really impressive the way he draws the, these characters like so simply but yet they tell so much of a story so of course, once I've identified what I like about Aaron's art, I would try to implement some of that into my own art. And what I like about his work is, again, the emotions and the simplification of his characters. So naturally, whenever I'm painting, I would try to keep that in mind. I would think, uh, how did Aaron do something like this? You know, how did Aaron communicate an emotion like that? So I would try to put that into my own work. And I don't want you guys to buy into the taboo of not copying other artists styles because then it's not something original because I think that is completely false. You have to really study the works of people you admire and absorb some of the ways they do things in order to better yourself as an artist in order to find your own style. So on to the next artist who inspires me, his name is Ramon and his work is absolutely fantastic. I love the way he treats facial expressions, his characters are always so expressive. And a second thing that I really like about his work is the way he implements like this almost messy kind of line art into his paintings and they just complement the expressions that he creates so well they just make the whole painting appear expressive along with the character's expression so it's like just he he already creates this beautiful expression and then he just pushes it to the next level with the way he uses his brush strokes and his line art and this is something that I've been trying to implement into my painting as well if you've noticed I've Try to really loosen up my brush strokes, try to get really messy and try to let my messy brush strokes kind of communicate the expression of the character, kind of complement it. And again, this just goes back to the idea of finding people who inspire you, looking at their work, finding things that you like about their work and trying to implement it into your own work. So the last artist that I want to show you guys, his name is A.D. Gailon, I believe that's how you say it, but his work is just incredible. It, he is amazing at simplifying things and saying a lot by not saying a lot. So like he really, really like communicates a ton of information in his environment paintings by using big, broad and simple brush strokes. And you can see all of his brush strokes and how he does things. And this is something that I admire a lot like this impressionistic look and I try to really implement it into my own work. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see I try to do a lot of the same things that he does. And again, I am taking one specific element from him that I really like and I'm trying to implement it into my work. So you can really see how I'm taking, you know, these elements from all these different artists who inspire me and I'm trying to combine them. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm whenever I see someone who inspires me, who whose work I really admire, I try to look at what it is about their work that I really like. I try to break it down. It's like maybe it's the way they do proportions, the way they do shapes, maybe it's their line art, maybe it's the way they communicate information in their paintings. And once I isolate those specific elements, I would try to mimic those elements in my own work. I would try to see if that is something that I could do because, you know, chances are if I like it in someone else's painting, 
when I'm able to do it in my painting, I'm going to like it in my painting as well. You know, that's just the natural thing. And the thing about these three artists is they are only the tip of the iceberg. Okay, so they inspire me the most, but there are a ton of different other artists out there who I also admire and I also look up to. And every single time I find an artist who I, who, you know, I find inspiring, I would try to study their work. I would look at, okay, what is it about their work that's really speaking to me, that's really working for me? And I would isolate it and then, you know, if possible, I would try to implement it into my own work. So this is a constant process. Like finding your style is a consistent process where you're going to be always looking for new inspiration and constantly changing the list of people who inspire you the most. Honestly, in a couple of years, these top artists might not be my top artists anymore. They might have been replaced or I might just not like their stuff anymore. You never know. You honestly never know. And this is the cool thing about, you know, finding your own style is you're constantly on the lookout for people who inspire you for how they do things and for how you can implement the way they do things into the way you do things. And before I really started studying the works of other artists, I found myself having a really hard time trying to break free from that photorealistic kind of proportion where, you know, everything has to be bound by the confinements of real life. And it just felt super restricting to create art in that sense. And I was not having as much fun as I am today. And honestly, this technique works. So just look at the works of other artists who inspire you if you're trying to get a more stylized look look at how they are stylizing things and implement that into your work slowly but surely and you're going to be able to get to the style that you want and the style that you like and honestly be ready to constantly see your style grow and change okay and i think this is another thing that a lot of people think of as a negative like people want to just be set in one style and find their the one style for them and then just you know create that for the rest of their lives but honestly if you're looking for different inspirational sources if you're looking to grow as an artist your style is going to grow with you so it's gonna it's a lot of fun honestly to watch your own style grow over time and to be able to scroll back on your instagram feed and think wow i used to paint like this and if you're worried about you know changing up your style and then having your current followers start unfollowing you because your work looks different all of a sudden honestly don't worry because i used to stress out about the same thing i used to think wow if i stepped away from this photorealistic look then people might not want to follow me anymore and you know if i lose all my followers because i'm changing it up like i'm gonna be taking a huge step back but the thing is you know, once I really started to get into my own style and start to be happy with the way that I'm creating, I found that my the quality of my work actually went up as well. And, you know, the quality going up, naturally more people started to get engaged with my artwork. So again, just do what you like. If you find a style that you really, really love and you want to implement it into your own work, do not hesitate to implement it just because you might have a current number of followers who are following you for your uh, pre-existing style that you might not even like as much you know so just honestly explore and let yourself grow let your style come through and just keep developing as an artist and don't be afraid of this change and just as a closing thought if you're looking to get your own style uh, if you're looking to really develop it one thing that i think is really important for you to keep in mind is that if you have a solid foundation in the fundamentals of art you're going to be able to find your style a lot more easily than if you were to have to learn both at the same time so the thing with style is it, usually it comes when you already have kind of an understanding of how things work and then you're able to push and pull things in the direction that you want so for example like if you have a good understanding of facial anatomy then you can really understand how to squish things and pull things and exaggerate things and where you can do that and where you can't do that having that solid foundation is going to help you out a lot so think of it as like building a skyscraper if you don't set that solid foundation in the ground once you get a little bit too high up your whole building is going to topple over right so um something to keep in mind if you're you know a beginner artist honestly there is no rush to find your style you have all the time in the world just practice and get familiar with the fundamentals of art and your style is going to come like really fast after you have a good understanding of how things work in real life
So to sum it up, look for artists who inspire you, look for elements in their work that you really like, and try to implement those elements into your work. And you're going to have a combination of all these different styles that you admire in your own artwork. And that's something you're going to be able to call your own style. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to be doing probably a couple more of these Instagram Q&A kind of videos. And I uh, hope you guys like it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.